Hello and welcome to the channel of the WUSIS Plus 20 Forum high-level event here in Geneva. I'm delighted to say today we're joined by Andrew Sullivan, who's the President and CEO of the Internet Society. Andrew, good afternoon. Thank you. The Internet Society has been involved with WUSIS since the beginning. It's a fundamental time to take stock, is it not? Well, it's 20 years since the original WUSIS, and it's time to analyze the, the ways that things have changed. I mean, you know, 20 years is a long time in the internet, and things were very, very different uh, during the original uh, negotiations and discussions. And I think it is time to, to have a look. And at the same time, it's important for us to remember that there are some fundamentals about the internet that are the same all the way through, and we must not forget that during these next discussions. 20 years ago, everybody thought the internet was a good idea. Nowadays, not so. Yes, I think that's one of the big changes, and I think it's a big danger. I think that 20 years ago, if you asked people, you know, would you like a connection to the Internet, if they knew what the Internet was, then they would have said yes. Uh, and that's because it was all potential for most people. Many people didn't have access to it. They didn't know what it was. They didn't understand the potential that you had. Many of the people today who are involved in policy discussions around the Internet are, well, they've never not had access to it. They, you know, it's just part of their lives. And for that reason, they, they think that it's just a natural piece of the world. It, you can't imagine breaking it. But the truth is that the internet is, is technically remarkably robust. We built a reliable system from unreliable parts. It's an engineering magic. But it is politically quite fragile because it depends on the idea that we all get something better when we connect to one another. And in this age of much more nationalism, uh, you know, people are disconnecting, they're afraid to connect. We see governments shutting the internet down. We see corporations attempting to keep people inside their, well, well they call them ecosystems, but they're really walled gardens. And they're trying to keep people inside them. And that's not what the internet is like. So that is the challenge for us as we go into these next rounds of discussions. How are we gonna remind people all of the benefits that we get from the internet, all of the things that it brings to us, all of the potential for humanity that it brings? People who don't have those connections today, about a third of the world's population, they're missing out and we need to bring it to them. But we also need to remember, while we're connecting people who, are dis or who don't have connections yet, not to disconnect ourselves and to make sure that we can build together the world that we really deserve to have. You would have thought, would you not, that by now everybody would be connected to the internet. Why not? Well, one of the things that has surprised me over my career on the internet is how many things are surprising. I love the internet, partly because it's just so surprising the things that people come up with. And some of those are, you know, awful. I don't like all of them, but some of them are great. And, you know, when I was growing up, things like Zoom, we now have fatigue from, you know, video calls. And yet, when I was growing up, that was science fiction. That was magic. And here we are now able to have these kinds of conversations online, able to discuss with one another. I think we're going to see just as many innovations like that. We're going to see greater interconnection, greater interoperability uh, because people are focused on it. And that means you can pick your application, I can pick mine, and they just work together. And that's the kind of thing that we ought to be focused on building, and I hope we will continue working on it for the next 20 years. And just briefly, how long before everyone is connected? Oh, I wish I could tell you. I would have thought 20 years ago that it'd be by now. Um, so we need to keep working on it. You know, the one truth of it is that every connection we make makes the rest harder. The remainder are always the hardest um, cases, and that is part of what the Internet Society is working on today to try to make sure that those people who, you know, most need this connection are the ones who can get it. Andrew Sullivan, President and CEO of the Internet Society, thank you so much for sharing your ideas. Thank you for talking to me today. More to come from the WUSIS Plus 20 Forum high-level event here in Geneva.